subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Good morning, students. Yesterday, we have seen that a ray of light in an isotropic optical medium travels in the same direction. That is actually a propagation of light. When it changes the medium of propagation, generally it is found to change the direction of propagation. Now this property of light, by virtue of it, it changes the direction of propagation. Whenever it changes the medium of propagation, is called refraction of light. Now, when refraction takes place, we have incident ray, point of incidence, refracted ray, normal, normal the point of incidence, refracted ray. Refraction always takes place obeying certain laws, namely the incident ray AO, the refracted ray OB, and the normal dominating quantum incidence all lie in the same plane. Then, this second law, which is also known as Snell's law, see, goes like this. See, provided you have the same color, you keep the same color, you use the same color, and the same pair of media, when light enters in oblique incidence, that is I not equal to zero, the ratio of the second angle of incidence I to the second angle of refraction R is always a constant. This constant is called refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. This is also called the relative refractive index. <coughs> and mathematically, Stell's law is something like this. See, the cause for refraction is that the velocity in the first medium, the velocity in the second medium, they are not the same. So, difference in the velocities of light in the two media causes refraction, that is change of direction, that is deviation. Now, therefore, we can also define refractive index alternately, either in terms of angles or in terms of velocities. Velocity of light in the first medium, velocity of light in the second medium, when it goes from the first medium to the second medium, like that. Now, <coughs> as you can see, relative to refractive index, we have absolute refractive index. Sin i to sin r ratio is called absolute refractive index when light enters the given medium from vacuum, free space, or air. So we can obtain the relationship between absolute refractive index and the relative refractive index. Now consider the relation, the definition of relative refractive index V1 to V2 N of 2 with respect to 1. Absolute refractive index ratio to the velocity of light in free space to the velocity of light in the first medium gives the absolute refractive index in the first medium. Similarly, absolute refractive index in the second medium is velocity of light in free space to the velocity of light in second medium. Now you can write all these equations together like that. If you divide this by this, you will get this so that we can write down this equation. Now all the various equations, now we will be using this form of stems. So all these are different forms of stems. We will be using this frequency. Now, when light goes from what we call rarer medium to denser medium, it deviates towards the normal. When it goes from denser to rarer medium, it deviate, deviates away from the normal, that is R is more than I. Now, this is what we have discussed last class. Now, today, making use of these ideas, we will derive an expression for the lateral shift produced by a glass flat. Now remember, now 
this can be considered to be a slab, a wooden slab. Opposite sides are parallel. Instead, imagine, see a slab like this, a slab like this. Now, this is a plane surface, this is a parallel plane surface. Now, light enters here and goes into, let us say, glass slab, comes out of it. Now, remembering that, the angle of the refractive ray, the incident ray, and normal, all are in the same plane. I need not have to write a three dimensional figure. I take a plane. Plane contains the incident ray and the normal. That is plane of incidence. And that contains all the refractive. So I have a plane of this slab, which is called principal section. So I have only this, what you see here. Now, this is the principal section of the parallel sided glass slab. Consider ray of light P2. Now this is glass slab placed in air. Placed in air. Now let us suppose the thickness of this slab is P and the refractive index, absolute refractive index, of course, is Yang. Now See, light enters this glass slab at an angle of incidence I1 at the first surface A, B, suppose. Now, because it is going from air to glass, that is, it is going from rare to denser medium, see, it deviates towards the normal. So, it deviates towards the normal like this. Making an angle or incident or refraction of it. Now, when it goes out of the second surface, it makes an angle of incidence R2 and comes out at an angle of incidence refraction I2. Now, I will apply Snell's law at this surface, this relation. So, N1 plus medium refractive index, I1, N1 sin I1 at this point of incidence is equal to N2 sin R1. I will call this equation 1. Again, at the second surface, at R, I can apply the same rule there. This is the first medium, this is the second medium. Refractive index is N2. So, N2, refract, say angle of incidence is R2. Therefore, it is N2 sin R2. That is equal to N1 sin I2. Now, observe the figure. These two are parallel, like this. This is normal to the surface. This is normal to the surface. These two are normal. And this is transverse. Therefore, R1 equals R2. So, if R1 equals R2, so you observe that N2 sin R1, N2 sin R2 become equal. Hence, N1 sin N1 is N1 sin N2. Since N1 is common, it follows that I1 equals sin That is, angle at which it enters this lab is equal to the angle at which it leaves this lab. That is, incident ray comes out parallel to the emergent ray comes out parallel to the incident ray direction. This is incident ray. They come up back. Now, <coughs> we will consider therefore, see A, B, C, D is the principal section of a glass slab of thickness T and of absolute refractive index L. P, Q, R, S is the path of light through this slab. We have just now seen that the emergent ray, R, S, is parallel to the incident ray. The perpendicular distance, see, this distance, this distance, between the incident ray produced and the emergent ray is called diffraction. Let us 
Now, so here I draw RE perpendicular to point of emergence through the incident difference. That is that portion. Now observe the tranquil. Say from tranquil, Q R E. Q R E. Say Q R E is a rectangle tranquil. I write sin of I minus R is equal to opposite side R E, hypotenuse side Q R. Now that is R E in lateral shift is Q R times sin of I minus R. And call this equation 1. Now again, from triangle, Q M R cosine R R is here, this is perpendicular. Cosine R is adjacent side Q M hypotenuse side Q R that is Q R is Q R by cosine R. Now from equations 1 and 2, we get Re equals Re equals Q R, Q R by cosine R, sin of I minus R. Now this is lateral shift, shift L lateral QL with the perpendicular distance to be the opposite faces. Now that is T, so it is T by cosine of sine of I sort. So this is the expression for the lateral shift. Now observe the lateral shift. Depends on the thickness of the slab. Depends on the angle of incidence. Now that can be easily seen here if you consider only half of this. The ray comes out from here itself. So the lateral shift now becomes only this much. So you take like this. So that is the lateral shift. So lateral shift depends on the thickness of the slab. I, now if I consider suppose in the same figure, a ray of light coming like this, I is 0, it comes out like this, no shift is there. Now if I take a ray that suppose like this, instead of going like this, it would go like this, it deviates, comes out like this, again parallel. But shift is this because I is this. So shift depends on I also. So it's a function of D and I. And you can consider the two cases, let's suppose. See mathematically also. If D is 0, SL is 0. It's a trivial case. Now passing through a plain glass sheet, it is very, very thin, like a microscopic slide. There will be no shift. Now if I is 0, that is light is entering like this, <coughs> if you have a slab like this, let's suppose, light is entering like this, lighting an angle of incidence 0, now <coughs> this is 0. If I is 0, see, this is I, now this is R, so if I is 0, R is also 0. So, it means that 
sin of i minus i that is zero. So lambda is zero. So here also shift is zero. That is obvious. Finally, see if i is a rectangle. Rectangle. Now mathematically, sin of 90 minus r. So lambda is equal to t by cos r. Sin of 90 minus r. Now this is for sin r. Therefore, you have like this. This is t. This is t. So if you have it, suppose a ray grazing the incidence almost like this. Now it goes like this and comes out like this. So that incident direction is this, emergent direction is this. Now that is equal to t. That is equal to t. So that is about the lateral shift. Now <coughs> we shall go to Now, refracting plane, separating two media, of refract index 1 and refract index 2. You can always imagine, see, a beaker of water. See, this is medium 2, this is medium 1, like this. Now, keep an object, point object, of course, in this medium. Now, let us suppose this has a refract index and 1, this has a refract index and 2. Now, if n2 is more than n1, this is denser medium, this is rarer. I consider a ray of light, a ray of light going from O, falling on x y normally, making an angle of incidence zero. So it goes in the same direction like that. I take another ray. You can take any other ray. Any other ray. Incident at x bar making an angle equal to I. I. See, observe before I proceed, this is perpendicular, this is also perpendicular, this is transversal, therefore, this angle becomes I. Now, light does not go in this direction, light does not go in this direction, it deviates, that is refraction, it refracts. Because it is going from denser to rare medium, it deviates away from the normal. Away from the normal. And travels along the direction B D dash, making an angle of refraction R. Making an angle of refraction R. Now I produce this. I produce this. Observe, there is refracted ray. There is refracted ray. These rays originate or start from point of incident point O. So one incident, another incident you can take any number. Now the refracted rays meet at I when produced backwards. Therefore, I is the image of O. I is the image of O. Now that is how we trace the image due to refraction. The procedure is same. Take incident rays. Allow them to refract and see where they mean, either actually or at this factors. Now, because once again these two are parallel, this is transversal, therefore this is R. This is R. Now, see, consider, see the triangle. Now, instead of that, the light is going from say one medium to another medium for refraction at B. See for refraction at B. See I use Stelzdorf. 
See, this is the structure that I am using. L1 sin i, L2 sin r. Now here, I have taken this as N2, therefore this is our medium here. So N2 sin i is equal to L1 sin r. M1 sin. Now observe, the triangle is difficult. I call this equation 1 for a triangle. A O B sin i equals you have i here, this is equal to this, opposite side A B hypotenuse O B and from triangle AI. Side of arm is equal to the case opposite OB, AB, hypotenuse 9. Now, therefore, substituting into equation 1, say N2 sin i. Sin i is AB by OB. And one. Sin R is A B by I. Cancels. Now therefore, N2 by N1. N2 by N1 is O B by I. I'll call this equation 3. Now, if A is close to B, A is close to B or B is close to A, let us say, B is close to A, very close to A, that OB is almost equal to OA and IB is almost equal to IB. Therefore, equation 3 becomes N2 by N1 is equal to OA by IA. OA by IA. Now, as a special case, see, give the first medium. See, we have medium 1 here, medium 2 here. So, if the first medium is, let us say, air, that means L1 is 1, and second medium is glass or water or any other medium. See, L2 is so you have this, we have N equals OA by I. Now observe here, OA is distance the object measured from the surface. Distance of the image measured from the surface. We will call this P and this P dash. That is real depth over the higher depth. So it is P over P dash, or it is real depth over a higher depth. So this relation we use in the determination of the refractive test of glass or water. Now observe from the figure. Observe from the figure. That is 
the shift in the position of the object, the image. From the figure, normal shift that is shift in the position of the image measured along the normal is OI. Look at the figure, it is OI. That is expressed as object distance image distance that is normal shift L is T minus T dash representing OA as T, IA as T dash. Now if I take off T comma, we have 1 T dash over T. So yes, M is equal to T, the depth into 1 minus, observe n is t over 3 dash, therefore t dash over t is 1 minus. Now this is the expression for the normal shift. Normal shift. So normal shift as you can see depends on the depths and refractive index. Notice that when light goes from denser to rarer, it deviates away from the normal. Therefore, normal shift is like this. If light goes from rarer to denser, the normal shift is like this. That means an object in water seen from air appears nearer. Whereas an object in air seen from water appears far away appears far away. So in the case of let us suppose stars, we have atmosphere in between. Stars are in the rare medium. We see from the earth the stars. They appear at greater distance than they are actually are. So that is one situation. Now we go to another important concept. Total internal reflection. Total internal reflection. Now here we consider light going from denser medium like this, falling normally. It goes in the same direction it goes here. Yeah. Imagine for convenience water to air. If it makes an angle I, it goes in the air at an angle R greater than A. That means I is always greater than or is always greater than I. Now gradually increase the angle of incidence. The angle of refraction also increases, but much faster. Now at some stage, at some stage like this, see when light is incident at an angle I, the refracted ray goes along the surface making R equal to 90. R equal to 90. Now if you increase, if you increase the angle a little further, see there will be no refraction, there will be no refraction. All light, see, gets back into the same medium. Now that phenomenon is called total internal reflection. Do you know why that is called total internal reflection? Now here, when light goes from one medium to another, See, there is refraction as well as reflection. Now here reflection is less, reflection is more, reflection is more, but here it is total. All the 100% light comes back into the same medium, though there is no opaque medium like that. So that is total interior reflection. Now this angle of incidence, for which angle of refraction is a right angle, is called Critical angle. So, <coughs> critical angle is the angle of incidence 
in the tensor media. For which angle of refraction in the air or free space is a rectangle. Now it is critical because below this angle there is both reflection and refraction, reflection and refraction, reflection and refraction. Beyond this angle there is no reflection, refraction, only reflection. So within that there is refraction, beyond that there is no refraction. So that is why it is called critical. Now that is critical angle is the angle of incidence when or is a rectangle. Now consider this figure. Light going from tensor medium, say, of refractive index and interior, interior. <coughs> Such that it makes an angle of incidence and the surface of operation equal to the critical angle. So that the rate travels along the surface. It grazes the surface. Now for refraction, for refraction, I let me suppose for L1 sin I is equal to L2 sin I. This is nothing but snap form. Now here we have L1 equals L. N2 equals 1. Now therefore, therefore, say N sin I see we are going into this medium making an angle of incidence equal to I that is C. So I substitute these relations here into this equation. So N sin C is equal to 1 sin n and this is 1 therefore n sin c is 1 or n equals 1 by sin c. Now that is the relation between critical angle and critical I think we will stop here for the day and continue to Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.